Hello and welcome to the next part in Construction Simulator 2015. Uh, without further ado, we're going to jump straight in here and we're going to go on to the next mission. And it looks like we have to get one container. If you can keep that on screen a little bit longer, please. Thank you. One container and transport the cargo and the materials. So let's... Right. So we're obviously going to need our little tipper tipper machine which we left down at the nursery on the previous one because we had to drop some uh, shabar off down here yeah that's it the technical term was construction shabar so what was it again I've got to find a materials vendor but I've also got to get a skip so skip if this actually takes me too long, guys, I'll, I'll edit this little bit out to try and find it. There's no point in me uh, struggling here. Although you're going to get the same for us. You're going to discover the same things and get confused with the same things as I am. Um, I presume I'll get the skip from here. Or materials vendor. Get the uh, from the materials vendor. It's got to be this. It's got to be there, isn't it? Surely. Uh, now the gravel plant we did have a skip on the previous one so maybe maybe we get it from there so let's head on in our beautiful green tipper truck and we'll see if we can get a skip as I mentioned previously in the other videos if you've just jumped on board thanks for watching having a look at the construction simulator 2015 it is available on Steam. I think it's thirteen ninety nine in the winter sale. Um, it's actually quite fun. Um, I did speak to a couple of guys in the old GU I was in who mentioned um, they'd watched the videos and they thought single player, a little bit bleh. Um, Co-op's obviously going to be where this game's at. Uh, we had so much fun with Euro Truck Simulator playing together and with uh, Farming Simulator, which is my favourite sim game of this year. Um, just a pity that Shadowplay didn't work with it. Um, just w just wouldn't record, it's just not supported. But I have found a way around that, so I may give it a try and see if the lads want to jump on and we'll do an actual series with eight or ten of us all playing on the uh, the old farming game. Fantastico. Right, so I'm here, I can see this skip. So I know this is the place to get concrete and other supplies, sand and what have you. And you can also drop stuff off, but I wonder whether I can actually get a skip from here as well. Because it does say... Oh, excuse me for yawning. It's, uh, oh my god, it's nearly half past five in the morning. My hot Hungarian Aerostess girlfriend, who works for Ryanair, the shit dump. Um, she starts work early, she's on airport standby, so I dropped off this morning, come back. And I thought, do you know what? I fancy a little bit of construction, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she didn't want to grab my big tool this morning, so let's grab a virtual tool and fucking jump on in and do some shabba. All technical terms, of course. Right, so this guy's telling me I can dump and pick up stuff here, but by the looks of it, he's not going to lend me a skip. So I was probably right. I'm going to have to go back to the um, material site, the place where we bought the furs and everything else, and with a magic video, I shall cut that little bit out for you. Anyway, here we are. And our lovely green tipper. So we're just going to come straight back here, pick this skip up, and I can't remember what the mission was at the top after that. Uh, we had to f is it fill it up with something, take it somewhere. So we're just going to reverse straight back. Lovely doubly, like a professional now. We know what we're doing in our little man tipper truck. I'd love to know whether you guys have actually bought the game yet. Whether you're thinking of getting the game, things that you're not too sure about. I will be looking at the multiplayer at some point. Um, I may do that in the next video, maybe the one after. We'll try and get this first mission completed. It looks like each mission, there's about 10 different stages for some of these. And you've got to remember, this is really only the beginning of the game. We've only recently done the tutorial. Whoops, microphone caught over there, I'm not sure why. Yeah, as I was saying, this is really is only the first mission after the tutorial. 
So if it's this in depth, I think the game is either just like a bit of a learning tool for you to get used to using each of the. Sorry, mate. Who left that knob there? Um, yeah, only really like a learning process for you to get used to the handling of the vehicles and everything and how things work. I think co-op is really going to be where this game is going to shine. And as I mentioned, I'm going to see if I can get a couple of the lads on, or even just jump into a public server, see what see what the crack is, see how in depth it is, whether it's enjoyable. I presume if you're on comms, it's going to be a brilliant because obviously. One of you can go get the trailers, one of you can do this, one of you can do that, which is a little bit of what we were doing in Farming Simulator. We kind of had a gaffer. Um, you know, I'll do Field 18, this needs this need harvesting, cultivating, etc. The only problem when we played Farming Simulator was we everybody was just too keen to upgrade quickly and get all the goodies, and then the game kind of died because you had nothing left to work for. I did warn the fuckers, but they didn't want to listen. Anyway, right. So we've got to drop this off. I've left my bloody uh, flatbed truck, is it? There, so we'll come in this other entrance down here. I really wish this camera was adjustable without having to use the bloody mouse. Um, I've had a look at the controls. You can't actually configure it. There's no option for uh, moving the camera with the right thumbstick. Maybe they'll add it in a patch. Who knows? Right, let's get this up here and plonk it. It's quite cool, isn't it? Graphics are not the most amazing, but they are they are quite nice. Nothing wrong with it at all. I don't think there's a day and night cycle that would have been good as well. A little bit like farming sim. Right. So we've got to drop this off. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to drop this off between the cones by the looks of it. I'm starting to get the fear now. If I'm dropping this skip off, I've got a feeling we're going to be digging something. Oh, good God, man. If it comes to digging something, and it takes me hours to work it out, I'll speed it up in the video. Don't worry. I'm not going to make everybody watch fucking 20 minutes of me trying to dig one hole. Oh, good God, I can feel it's going to come. Right. Chuck this bad boy down. And detach. There we go. Right, what does this say? Right, let's get this green truck out of the way. Just dump you down here on the side of the road, I think, for now. In case we need to jump back down and pick up the trailer. Shit all over the road, not my problem. That'll be road shit cleaner, sweeper, 2016. Right. I don't know why I ran around there. I could have gone up the steps, but never mind. I like the way the dungarees chaff on me bollocks. Right. Let's get you up. Watch it, dickhead! Fuck me, you've scratched my new truck. The fuck out of here. Right. So, now we need to go get the digger. Now, I could... I could just drive it there, but it's super uber slow. And with the power of editing, I'm sure after I could do it. But I think we're going to do this professionally. If it's going to play a sim game, then let's play it bloody sim-like, yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the little trailer to the back of this then I'm going to put the digger in on the back of that as well so I may speed this up a little bit in the edit again in case this is a little bit boring for you as you can see I'm actually just attached the trailer on the back I press the question mark button up at the top left which gives you all the buttons um, I'm just going to try and fold this up and then stick it on the back of the trailer and then lift the little back uh, runners up. I don't, I'm sure there's a technical term, but I don't know.
Again, this is going to put the fear into me. The digger is just so <sighs> counterintuitive. It's almost like you want to press the left left stick to make the main part go forward and it comes backwards. It's almost like half of the digger arm is the right way on the stick that you would imagine it would be. And the other half is in is reversed. It's real mindfuck, honestly. This is the hardest bit of the game so far that I've had a little play with. Is definitely the, this digger. Um, yeah, interesting. I've actually re-recorded the voiceover for this little bit because I had a problem with the actual bucket. Yes, yeah, so a little bucket on the end of the digger wouldn't move using the 360 pad, although it would with the keys. It was just simply a matter of rebinding it. And halfway through the frustration of actually trying to get dig this hole, um, I noticed there wasn't an option to turn the cab when you're in the digger mode. Again, just a quick jump into the main menus and changing it to uh, the right thumbstick solved that little issue. Just camera, really. Camera's the most frustrating part of this. Um, we've got to dig this hole here and put it in this skip. And again, I'm going to speed this up because... <laughs> this was not easy. It's really not easy using that digger, as I said. It's it's just that reverse weirdness. And um, you don't want to try and dig too deep either. Uh, what tends to happen is it lifts up the actual tipper. And it just causes you not nothing but hassle. Um, so it looks like we've uh, we've completed this section. Uh, now it's just a matter of getting the tipper. No, it's the digger. It's the digger, isn't it? Sorry, my apologies. Now it's just a matter of getting the digger back onto the trailer. Again, fighting with these camera angles. I just wish they, they could sort that out. Um, maybe it'll come in a patch. There's a few people suggesting things on Steam forum at the minute. Whoa, don't slide off there. As bad as the... Well, I won't say bad. I was going to say as, as different as the physics are... Um, I always remember when it came to farming simulator, things like the physics of the um, the bales um, always used to cause a problem. But this one's not actually that bad. I don't think the physics are as good as Euro Truck Simulator. If I can, what button this is now? Left bumper and is it deep? I up and down or left and right? I've forgotten now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's um, physics not quite as good as that, but certainly nothing terrible um, I think the actual digging mechanics on the ground could do with a little bit of looking at uh, but apart from that I'm actually really quite enjoying this guys you know games good when you quite keen to jump in and do a little bit more and see what's coming up next I mean I wonder if we get the things for digging up the road you know lane tar and road marking I don't actually know how far how complex into the game there is. I know there's um, you get to put more pipes in and actually build up buildings and drop things off with cranes on top of buildings for workers and stuff. Uh, it'd be cool if you could actually see the workers actually doing something. Um, right, anyway, let's get back in here now and I presume the next bit is we're going to be picking up that skip so we should be an expert at this now. This should be absolutely no bother whatsoever. I'd be interested to know any of you guys what your favourite simulator game is of this year. Or in fact, of even over the last 10 years, I'm sure some of you are going to be playing Flight Sim X and some of the other ones. I just can't get into those. Um, apart from the takeoff, the actual flying, you, I, I presume you just don't do anything. There, there is nothing to do, is there? Which is what puts me off having looked at the sim game um, Elite Dangerous. Uh, just, I don't know. I'm tempted, but it's 40 quid of just coming out of a spacecraft where you've landed and then just aiming for circles, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then nothing to do. It just seems, I don't know, maybe I don't get it. But then again, people who play Dangerous Elite are probably going to look at this and go, what, you just drive around, you pick a skip up, you pick up shit and throw it around and that's it. So, I guess each person gets something different out of these simulation games, don't they? And I'm making the right fucking balls of this. Just lift it, Andy. Come on, physics. There we go. Nice. Down you go, baby. 
Right, let's get this dropped off then. I presume we're going to be going straight back to the construction. Oh, hang on. Uh, right, that means that the arms are not completely all the way down. That's it. Nice, that should solve that little problem. So what have we done at this site so far? Basically, we've gone and bought a skip. We dropped it off at the site. We attached the trailer and the digger to the flatbed. We dropped off the digger and we dug a hole. Not quite sure what we dug the hole for. I'm sure we shall find out in the next section of this mission. Uh, we dug the hole, we put the crap in the skip and now we've picked the skip up and we're going to take it down to the concrete factory I don't even know if it's concrete factory, that's what I'm going to call it the concrete factory we're going to dump this shabar off and then who knows what the next one's going to be it could be bloody anything I don't even know what we're building I know it says basic garden maintenance but uh, it's not a garden is it it's not a garden with that house, and it looks like... Do you know, I thought I was going into the nursery then. You see that? Those trees in the uh, foreground popping up. Is that called LOD? Line Always Density. Can't remember what it stands for, but it's annoying. Again, when we're using GTX 780 Ti tits, we shouldn't be having any pop-up whatsoever. Right! Let's drop this Shabba off at Shabaranks. Whoa, we had a bit of a pause there. Don't know what that was. SSD drive shitting its pants. Uh, yep, task four of five. I think what we'll do, guys, is I might do the next one. I'll leave it to the next video, or we can have a look at multiplayer. Right, so we're going to be dropping this skip off on the right hand side let's just have a quick check yep you've already told me all this shite yep thanks 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 for wasting my time mate up against the clock here right so I'm gonna I think I'll reverse this in that should make it a bit more professional Get this near the middle. Right, undump it. Level up. I can now hire a worker. Nice one. So that um, I think when it comes to the digging in future episodes, I'm gonna get the worker to do it rather than me doing it. Uh, right. So it looks like we can jump straight back to the construction site. I'll pay a little fine for it. That's fine. And it looks like. So now we've got more tasks. More tasks to do. Right, I think we'll end it here, guys, um, for this video. Uh, there is more coming. I'm quite enjoying this series, actually. Um, I would love to do a farming simulator one with the lads and do some co-op. Or even this game on co-op. So if any of you are out there have got the game and you're interested in doing some co-op, let me know. And um, we'll get you on. Oh, it's going to be a boring Michelle. <laughs> we'll get you in and do some videos. Um, I have been watching Stocker Gloss and a few of the other guys doing the farming some games. I do enjoy it. It's quite relaxing to watch as well as to play. If there's any specifics in the game that you'd like to know about or you want me to have a, you want me to have a look at and let you know what I think about it, then uh, do let me know. And uh, So this is what we've done. This is all we've done. All this bloody work. We've dug this shit pit. That's it. That is literally it. Good God. Anyway, guys. I shall see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, subscribe. I've been Para. Bye-bye.